As a creative, it gets loud in my head sometimes. I mean, so much to think about, so much noise, especially at the times when I'm deep in a project or a task. It's crazy how blown out the micro task and the to-do list gets. And the amount of external voices speaking into a project can become a cacophony and the deadlines. Oh, the deadlines, they seem to roll one after another, after another. But the biggest hurdle, the seemingly unescapable wall many times are our own thoughts, our criticisms, our fears. And that's what gets tiring. Then I remember, eventually, I remember, I signed up for this. I said yes to this. As a creative, I said yes to this. I said yes to picking up a camera. You, you, you may say yes to picking up a stylus or a paintbrush. And just like we voluntarily answered that call, Peter walked to Jesus in the storm, voluntarily. And I think of the story of Peter on stormy water with Jesus. It, it has a few things in common with us and the loud brainstorms that we deal with. Jesus works the miracle of the loaves and fishes and then goes off to pray and be alone. Early the next morning, Jesus sees the boat, the disciples, and they're drifting on the sea, and he walks out to them. You know, we really take these miracles that Jesus work way too lightly. Like Jesus, literally our guy, Jesus, casually feeds a small town, <laughs> then goes and takes a nap. Then he wakes up and walks on water. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Like who? Okay, okay, listen. So he walks out on the water to them and Peter's like, yo, I'm with it. Either this is the real deal or scheme, but I'm about to find out. Jesus is like, come. And Peter's with it. Peter, Peter comes out until he has to act in his yes. And once he puts action behind his vocal words, his inner voice starts getting to him. He's walking towards Jesus and he gets distracted. How dare we get distracted by the elements that come when we're in a storm? How dare we get distracted by the elements that come along life's journey or our creative journey? That's not how this works. This Christian walk is not some elixir that magically makes everything easy in life. However, it makes it easier. Our strength is found in the joy of the Lord. Our confidence is found in His promises. Our benefit of a relationship with Christ, besides eternal life, is the Holy Spirit that makes difficulties more palatable and makes the hard times more navigable. His promises to never leave us or forsake us and that He'll always give us a way out. The key is just to get over ourselves. Get over ourselves and focus on Jesus. He's our guide. He's the, the, the key that quiets the voices around us, that quiets the voices inside us the negative thoughts that exalt themselves and drive everything away from the knowledge of Christ as our Savior. He is the key to that. And if you can do that, if you can focus, if you can hone in, you can hear God in the hustle.